Operations Manager for ICOM Productions, and is also the co-owner <coughs> of the Calgary Recreational Dodgeball Association. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Um, this is how me and my family usually spend our Tuesdays. Um, <laughs> we'll note the bottle of wine and the fact that my dog and my wife are sleeping in the exact same position. Um, but I'm not here to talk about them tonight. Um, tonight we're talking about less, as you've all heard. Um, so that's what I plan to do. Talk about less. This is less. <laughs> Les is my father. He's, uh, he's my dad. For you, you would uh, see him as Les. Um, his full name is Leslie Jordan, um, to be specific. Um, yeah. Not to be confused with this Leslie Jordan. Um, though I'm sure he would be an interesting person to talk about as well, something like this. Uh, but adding more lessons to this talk isn't going to help anything. It's just going to confuse things. It will take away focus from Les, my Les. So let's, let's continue with that. Les is married to my mother, Jan. Um, they had me, and so uh, with a half the DNA of both my parents, uh, that still makes me less less than lessons. <laughs> but I've, I've still learned many lessons as Les's son, um, like how wordplay can be fun and how a pun is always funny no matter what. <laughs> Les also enjoys wearing less. Um, he enjoys also how to illustrate the space between palm trees. Um, and it looks like it's less space than he thinks it is. Um, but he loves to vacation. He, uh, he enjoys scuba diving and reading, rum punch, cerveza, uh, even heckling locals. Um, he's, gone to, uh, he's been going to different places for about 13 years, uh, going with different families and friends, uh, or just with my mom. Um, either way, there's no convincing him to do it any less. He just loves it. He looks forward to it uh, and is equally depressed when he comes back to our dry, cold climate. Um, he is a, uh, he's a constant competitor. Um, this picture is of myself and him politely discussing the finer rules of beer pong. Um, this conversation can go on for quite a while, both being stubborn. Uh, him with a beer in him and me with a little less in me. Uh, we find our ways to be stubborn, and we're stubborn to the end, often with sly grins on our face. He's a devoted father, and uh, nothing's made him prouder than uh, when me and my sister got married. Uh, not to each other. <laughs> we each found someone else. <laughs> we just we got married. We got married about a month apart, which was, which was sweet. Um, less even committed to less sleep. Um, staying up at the wedding the entire night and then baking breakfast for everyone in the morning. Um, my parents have been married for 35 years, or over 35 years. As my mom describes, she's always been in a loveless marriage. <laughs> she loves him more and more every day. <laughs> loveless is actually how he signs all of his, all of his cards. Happy birthday, loveless, Merry Christmas, loveless. <laughs> My family is very into ACDC in a huge way. If you're at a party, wedding, house, it doesn't matter. If ACDC is playing, we all run to the middle and we all sing at the top of our lungs as though we'll never hear another ACDC song again. Um, yeah, maybe we could bring it down a notch, but um, singing isn't always enough for us. Sometimes it's more like dancing. Oh, how we love to dance. We're not good at it, but we, uh, we don't care. <laughs> the less we know, the better, I guess. <laughs> this wedding was hilarious because Les actually spent the first three hours meeting every single one at the wedding, and then spent the following three hours explaining to me who everyone was <laughs> um, while dancing. Uh, he's a very determined man. Uh, two summers ago, we did the Tough Mudder Challenge. Uh, he joined first, and I quickly followed, uh, if only to avoid the relentless bragging that would come with him completing it without me. So that is unacceptable, and so I joined. Uh, when I say he's determined, I mean rain or shine. Uh, nothing can stop him from doing what he loves. Um, if it's raining in Mexico, he'll be balancing, holding a book, a beer, and an umbrella, just so he can keep enjoying what he loves. Uh, anything to feel that muggy heat, I guess. Um, 
As a person with red hair, or stri strawberry blonde as he prefers us to call it, he has adapted well to the harsh realities of fair skin. Uh, SPF 60 doesn't uh, hurt as well. Like I said, he's very determined to enjoy everything that he can. I'm really blessed to have uh, Les as a friend. Going for breakfasts, or talking hockey, or uh, fixing my house, or um, double dating at the zoo with the zoo lights. I, uh, I, I think it's funny actually that the best place to take a picture at the zoo during zoo lights is in the smoking area. <laughs> <laughs> or the oaking area. Is that <laughs> uh, Les loves children. He always teases them uh, and he'll play them or play with play games with them, whatever whatever they want. And kids just gravitate to him. Uh, which is why I'm sure at this point he's getting a little impatient with my lack of kids, uh, but he just wants a little, little less. <laughs> Both my parents have been wonderfully stable people in my life. Uh, it's little whether my grandma's name is actually Constance, uh, instilling that value throughout her entire family, making sure you're always someone that you can count on. For example, they're here tonight. I mean, Supporting me just like they always have. So if you see Les out there, please buy him a beer. I'm sure he'll be grateful. <laughs> I'm sure now he wishes he was sunless. <laughs> Which technically he is if you look at his dad's perspective. My grandpa was seven less. <laughs> Through my life, there are many times where I've felt hopeless, loveless, friendless. But then most times I've always felt hope in Les love from less and friendship with less. I've also felt moneyless, so if you get the picture. <laughs> Having less in my life has been profound. I know I won't always have less in my life, but I, always have, I will always have memories of less, experiences with less, and the wisdom of having less grab me. I think everyone needs less in their life. I love you, Dad. Thanks, guys.